Madam Moderator, I'm Rita Goldberg, town meeting member, Precinct 2, uh, and I'm always happy to report to town meeting on the Cary Lecture Series. Little did we think a year ago that we'd still be meeting virtually and that the pandemic would still be upon us. Nevertheless, uh, we are going straight ahead, and as you may recall, the series is wholly supported by the Isaac Harris Carey Fund, set up by the Carey Sisters in 1921. So this is technically our anniversary year. Each year we are able to offer four free lectures to the citizens of Lexington, and now beyond because of the wonders of virtual technology. The committee thanks the fund trustees for their continued support of our efforts. We've learned in the course of this year how to manage virtual carry lectures, partly through the skills of our own committee members, especially Kevin Oye, Oye and partly through the offices of Mina Jane, Matt Schumann, who continues to provide us with wonderful graphics, and other staff members at Carey Memorial Library. Virtual programming has allowed us to attract larger audiences no longer limited by geography. Our first lecturer, Catherine Sanderson, a professor of psychology at Amherst College, uh, spoke on Saturday, October 3rd, 2020, under the title, Merely Bystanders, the Psychology of Courage and Inaction. Her subject couldn't have been more timely after the death of George Floyd and the growth in national attention to the Black Lives Matter movement. Many people tuned in for her dynamic talk, which turned out to support town efforts on this subject, though we didn't know that when she accepted our invitation at least a year and a half ago. Our second lecturer, Catherine Lasky, an eminent children's author, and also young adult author, uh, spoke on Saturday, November 7th, 2020, on world building, explorations in writing books for children. This talk too was well attended. Ms. Lasky has many fans and demonstrated the flexibility of the Zoom format once more. At her request, we were able to postpone her talk until after the November 3rd election, another fraught moment in a fraught year. Chad Williams, a professor of history at Brandeis, will have spoken on Saturday, March 20th, just before the first session of town meeting. His topic will be the Black Lives Matter protests of 2020, an early history. What could be a more fitting way to reflect on what these times have taught and continue to teach us? We're very much looking forward to his lecture. Finally, on September, I'm sorry, on Saturday, not September, on Saturday, April 24th, we are thrilled to have Paul Farmer of Partners in Health and the Harvard Medical School. We had hoped that he'd at last be able to appear in person, but now it looks as if his lecture will also be virtual. He'll be speaking on the color of COVID, reflections on pandemics past and present, and we expect a very large audience. We hope that will include all of you town meeting members. Once more, I plead with you all to attend these lectures uh, for the moment from the comfort of, comfort of your own homes. Please consult our website, carrylectureseries.org, all one word, if you want more information, and we will also have regular announcements. As you know, our trademark yellow flyers arrive shortly after Labor Day, but they are not tickets, merely reminders. We're working on next, year prog next year's program with some uncertainty as to whether it will be entirely or partially virtual. Our committee consists of Bob Halpern, who will be stepping down, uh, sadly for us, as chair, and will be replaced as chair by Kevin Oye. Monica Galizzi, Monopak, Monica Pax, and I are the other members. We continue to thank the staff and volunteers at Lex Media for broadcasting lectures, to Laurie Lucibello at the, at the Department of Public Facilities, and Kathy Severance at the Town Manager's Office for work, working with us under all conditions. And we also thank Karen Packard and her team at Wales Coffee Centre. 
And again, a special round of applause to the staff at Carey Library, especially Mina Jane and Corin Stembridge. Thank you.